Nigeria, West Africa. Contact tracers at work. So can you show me? 36.4, yeah. Searching out and recording suspected Ebola cases, a job that is about to be made considerably more effective. So uh, what's, what's the temperature? At the Hasso Plotner Institute in Potsdam, a team of experts consisting of IT specialists and scientists are working on the future of epidemic prevention and control. SORMUS is intended to help break the chain of infection systematically. To do this, the IT system collects data on potentially infected persons and evaluates it in real time. Launched at the end of 2014, the project had to run to an extremely strict time frame right from the outset. This whole project was triggered by the current and acute need to fight against the Ebola outbreak. So we really compressed this whole process into two months, basically. That would normally maybe have taken two years or three years. A team of Nigerian epidemiologists is bringing its own special knowledge on epidemic control into the project. During the Ebola outbreak in 2014, the emergency services were able to gather some initial experience with very simple software solutions. We tried um, the use of new technology, we tried the use of um, smartphones. Since the technology worked, if we have a better technology than what we used during the Ebola outbreak, it could help us respond to other outbreaks faster. The demands the new system will have to meet are clearly defined by those who will need to use it later. I think the most important thing for me would be two points. The first one would be for this software to be very, very simple to use by the people that uh, will be using them. And then for the software, again, to be able to really provide information to drive necessary public health action. Technically, SORMUS is based on SAP's new database, HANA. Its in-memory technology, jointly developed with the HPI, enables gigantic volumes of data to be processed in real time. To program the system, HPI students have been working closely with a team of developers from SAP, an exceptional collaboration. The thing that's really new here is that we're combining with uh, the academic world and listening to people that are really approaching a problem in a different, a different way. So it's, it's been an interesting combination of people that are very focused on the, the purity of the solution versus my group, which is, is focused on the delivery of the product on a timetable. For the HPI team, user-centered design was the main focus in developing the dedicated Sorma smartphone app. In a workshop shortly before rollout, the app is to be put through another phase of rigorous testing over several days. The target group for the mobile solution are the hundreds of contact tracers on the ground who travel regularly to people who have had contact with Ebola patients. Recording and transmission of the data collected used to involve complicated procedures. Now it can be completed with a few clicks. Some places are very far from the control center. Before, I would have to come back with the paper, maybe the paper get lost or something, you know. But the, the app allowed people to put in data and at, at no cost and easy. New data travels via the cloud straight into the case management, where it can be immediately evaluated. Real-time analysis in the form of maps present a simple and clear overview of all incidents and dangers in the region. The visualization of data is, is really key to be able to respond quickly. Once I see it on a map, I can see how large the event is and where it is in relation to other events. And that's why real-time situational awareness is really key. It gives me the knowledge to respond quickly with the right resources. The HPI team puts all the knowledge gained in the workshop straight back into improvements to the SORMA system. We identified that there were still some pieces missing in our big picture and also that we had to change some some parts which we understood in a different way. In only four months, the development of SORMUS has created a system that could have great significance in the worldwide prevention and control of infectious diseases. We will have to see how well this tool will help to do disease surveillance for all kinds of other infectious diseases. If we are able to collect information and evidence for that, this tool may have implications not only for Nigeria, not only for one set of infectious diseases, but basically for all epidemic-prone diseases and for every country, more or less.
In the coming months, Sormus will prove its value in practical trials in Nigeria and will thus be able to demonstrate how intelligent IT technology can help save lives.